ARM-based chip for consumer-level computer is one of the most exciting thing that Apple did for all of us, which is the M1 chip. M1 chip is fast, efficient, and surprisingly great at heat management. But the ultimate question as a 95 worker myself, I know I miss being a college student, is that is this PC, the MacBook Air 13 inch M1 chip model, is it really good for an office job? Let's find out. I know recently Apple has revealed the brand new M2 MacBook Air and it looks fantastically gorgeous and I really want to get my hands onto that device and I'm going to review that laptop. However, they are still selling the M1 chip model for $999 and I think that is really great value and I just wanted to share my opinion about this MacBook Air. I forgot to mention this, but disclaimer, this computer, this MacBook Air is my company's PC. So I can't show it to you guys what's actually inside my PC or the actual workflow during the B-roll of this video. So just sorry for that. I'm trying my best to showcase the MacBook as much as possible. Just leaving that there, it's my company's computer. So I don't have a full ownership of it. That's kind of weird way to say it, but you get the point. Okay. Let me explain my job real quick. I'm an associate manager in an online media company and the most of the apps I use are Safari, Todoist, Notion, WhatsApp, and Slack. However, since I can play around with video editing software and Photoshop, Sometimes they give me tasks that requires Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Okay, let's be honest here. Working for a typical nine to five job as a production manager, does not require a lot of horsepower for a laptop and i know that so the company has provided me with the base model which is 245 gigs of storage and 8 gigs of ram which is the cheapest m1 macbook that you can buy in the apple store right now and i have to say it's a relief to have the scissor switch keyboard back on this device it's clicky has great resistance and most importantly it's not gonna break like the king butterfly keyboard because that it will break so much and it's not a great keyboard. The screen is bright enough and the 13 inch display is plenty for me. And the weight of this laptop is absolutely fantastic. I carry around this device all the time and I have to say it's pretty light. I didn't feel any type of heavy weight on my back. I mean, I do go to the gym all the time and I can pull some, you know, pretty heavy weight. I'm just kidding, but it's really light. It's good for everyday carry. Also, the 35 watt charging brake that comes with this laptop is nice, small, and compact, which is pretty great if you work both at the office or at your own house, like me. I have nothing to complain about the screen. The 13 inch retina display is beautiful and it's an Apple display. Like you can color grade it, you can watch movies, you can do whatever you want and it just looks great. However, I kind of wish that the speaker could be a little bit louder because if you're just playing a video or listen to some music or other audio files, I have no problem. The thing is when you're calling someone or have a meeting with a group, some of the clients or coworker has a shitty and quiet mic, which is frustrating, especially when they have a low volume and you have to listen throughout your speaker. I know you can just plug your headphone, but some occasions I just have to use the speaker because I'm taking notes or something. And I wish that speaker could be a little bit louder. And lastly, I do wish that they have more USB-C ports because two ports are not enough. Even if you're an office worker, two ports, are never enough. Since the M1 laptop came out, everybody literally talked about it, but the most impressive thing about this device is the battery life. This thing is unbelievably good. I usually start my work at 9 a.m. and finish it at 6 p.m. Then I usually charge my device at 10 a.m. The next day. This thing literally hold around a day and a half easily, especially when you're not using a CPU demanding software such as Premiere Pro or Photoshop. All you're doing is like creating spreadsheet, typing on Word files, making presentation, and not blasting music out of your PC. This thing will last a day and a half easily, and this thing is immortal AF. I mean, the PC is not a living thing, but Come on now. As a lot of people know, the x86 architecture, such as Intel and AMD based PCs, 
requires a lot of cooling technology. That's why there's PC that requires so much thickness and so much water cooling piping all over the place to keep the laptop cool so it can run efficiently. So if you guys have a laptop that requires a lot of power, like my MacBook Pro 15 inch from late 2019, this thing is running fan like crazy. Even if I only open like what, two Chrome tabs, it gets Ha ha. However, the reduced instruction set computing, which is RISC, which is the ARM-based computing system, doesn't require a lot of cooling system because everything is optimized and running efficiently. It just doesn't get super hot, just like your iPhone. So as most of you guys know, the M1 MacBook Air does not have a fan in it which is pretty cool. This is so great because no matter how long you use this laptop on your laps, it won't get hot at all. So it's kind of relief that especially if your job is okay with you working remotely, I usually get tired just sitting on my desk for 12 hours a day doing this YouTube channel and an office job. I sometimes work at the sofa as well. And since this thing does not get hot at all, it's pretty easy to work. It's pretty comfortable. Not everything about this PC is glam and glory. Since this is the base model and it only has 8 gigs of RAM, if I start to doing something that is unusual, this thing gets pretty slow. For example, opening multiple Safari tabs, using dual screens, editing photos on Photoshop, or editing videos or audio file in Premiere, this PC struggles a lot. So much that I only can open one app, which is Safari, and probably open two tabs within the app and completely quit all the apps to run the device more efficiently or back to normal, which is not that really good. So for those reasons, I highly recommend you guys to bump the RAM size up to 16 gig at least because eight gigs are not enough, even for an office worker. However, considering the performance and the cost ratio, you can't complain at all with the value that Apple is providing to you with this device. So for the conclusion, is this device worth it for a normal nine to five office job? Yes, completely. It's really good. It's light, slim. It doesn't bother you when you put in the bag. It doesn't get hot and everything works completely fine. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. And if you guys are curious about my other videos, I will leave two videos right here and my most recent video right here and my channel right here. I hope you guys have a great, awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.